Wood is a remarkable material. It's strong, it's workable, it can be cut, carved, shaped, and even better, it does grow on trees. But the wood we use and the way we use it is changing. In the past, quality furniture was made from hardwoods. Softwoods, such as pine and spruce, were considered unsuitable, but things have changed. Softwoods can now be processed to make MDF and HDF, that's medium density and high density fiberboard, an improved wood product suitable for furniture making. These logs are being debarked in the first stage of the process. Next, they're hacked into chips in a giant blender. The chips are graded and washed to remove impurities. Then they're blasted with steam and mixed with resin. Once they've been dried again, they're formed into a giant continuous fibre mat. This mat goes through a hot press, 260 degrees Celsius to be exact. The press squashes it into 1 40th of its original thickness. The result is a wood panel board of consistent quality. In other words, there are no knots or splinters. The cut sheets are cooled on a giant wheel before being packed. So what can they be used for? Here's the answer. The Slaters want a fitted bedroom, and Andrew Carter is a designer. His job is to measure the room and draw up a plan. Andrew sends the measurements back to the factory, where they're entered into the computer. Each customer's room is different, so each design has different problems. The Slaters have a sloping roof, so their wardrobe units will have to be specially adapted from standard sizes in order to fit. These measurements will be sent directly to the factory floor. This system is called customised automation. The Slater's order arrives at the beginning of the production line. Here, standard sheets of MDF, HDF and chipboard are cut to the correct sizes for their order. Chipboard will be used for inner wardrobe divisions, whilst higher quality HDF will be used for the more visible door fronts. The powerful saws can cut several sheets at a time. A computer numerically controlled, or CNC, drilling machine automatically drills holes in the panels. It's crucial that these are drilled to the right depth and in the right places. A controller continuously checks for accuracy, using optical templates for position and a gauge for depth. An operator enters the Slater's door measurements into a CNC routing machine. This machine produces the carved pattern on the wardrobe doors. This is where the properties of HDF are most obvious. It can be worked, finished, sanded and painted in the same way as good quality solid wood. The Slater's routed door panels are spray painted in a sealed chamber, which protects the workforce from the noxious fumes. The finished panels are assembled into their individual orders, ready for quality control and dispatch. Efficient design and manufacturing control pays off when the Slater's bedroom is fitted. Because everything fits together perfectly, their bedroom can be installed in just five hours.